Okay, we're leaving. What do we need? Let Can me I see. What was I looking for again? Protein, Energites, Strongium. Not such a long list, really. What are we gonna find it? Maybe he got some. <laughs> Caught you! Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Are you okay? Morning, Major Crumb. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon. Didn't you get my message? Would you like Received some cheese? Intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your dearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that, but Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know I've made predictions before, but I'm not crying wolf. This time, I've got proof. What is that? A jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? A snail? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what? What is she trying to tell us? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law of nature, Wallace. Learned it in France during the war. Never wrong yet. You don't lost your goddamn uh... Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to a snail. Where'd you get those badges, huh? You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Get those badges from Walmart. To know what's inside. I am curious, yes. Ha! This case is packed full of government issue protein bars. Oh, protein. we need that. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for emergencies, obviously. It's an emergency. Stock piling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Huh. I'll come back to you later. Okay, wow. There's the man ah, we need Mr. to... Mr. Vallis! Hey! Mr. Vallis, I've got something for you. Much obliged. Aren't you gonna tell me what it is? It's a town map, okay. Alright, I'm guessing I can that fast looks travel. Like, can it really be cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Vensleydale, your favorite. And am I to take it that these are. Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. I don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. <laughs> okay. Suppose I only take one. Look at Mr. Wallace. Fifth. Fifth? <laughs> Don't forget, Mr. Wallace. Fifth? <laughs> Fifth. Okay. What's that say? Hold up. Oh, I can't look at it. Pity it's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. They look like they only sell muffins. But okay. Go to a cake. Well, it says pies. Well, go to like some kind of bakery and you uh. want meat? Uh. 
We need water for the uh, flowers. If that watering can that I saw don't have any Wonder water, we can come back and fill up. Be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Okay. Morning, post. Hey, your Wallace, love. How's business? I'm just going to ask her. So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, you've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. It'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. Would you like a new husband? What's that button do? Uh-oh. Hey, it's not closing time yet. Uh-oh. I could do that to you and try to steal the newspaper. She's pissed. <laughs> Calm down, honey. Have some cheese. ta -da, bye. Ta -da. If it isn't Wallace. Hello. I had a notion you'd be nosing around the police station this morning. M morning, Constable Dibbins. You're off to an early start today. Not planning any more visits to the shops, are you? Oh, no. Oh! Yesterday was a one-off. I'm in town on business. Is that so? That's right. My poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday, and it's already fallen afoul of the law. A clue, a clue! What, what, where? Right there! Oh, oh! I, I, I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes, and I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing be what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, it was an accident. problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified Tim can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Are you an idiot? Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. What? Are you stupid? I got some cheese. Oops. Missed. What? I already did that. You don't want to do that again. If that's his attitude, he can rot in jail as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Wait a second, hang on, I was just testing something out. We've had our little chat, and... I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Go back in there and talk I'm to him again. I'm wired for criminality, I'd say. Do you know anything about snails, Mrs. Gabberly? Uh, I know they eat them in continental parts. Well, yes, but do you think there's anything special about this one? To be honest, I couldn't rightly tell. Okay. Bear with me for a moment, Mr. Paneer. Major Crumb wanted me to show you this. 
That's a snail, Mr. Wallace. I know. Why are you showing me a snail? Well, it's in its shell, you see. And according to Major Crum, when a snail goes into its shell during the day, it means we can expect untold airborne activity of an unpleasant nature. Go home, Wallace, and get some rest. Reckon you've been overdoing the inventing. May I show you something, Constable Dibbins? Is it important? It might Maybe. be. Maybe. That's a snail, Wallace. Do you notice anything <laughs> peculiar about it? Only the person what's holding it. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Get that watering can. Hmm. Water's all right, but growth formula would be faster. What are you on about? Hey, that's that squirrel. Oi, come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. He's got my as a bee to a blossom, eh? Look at this snail. I realize this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crumb insisted I show you this. It's uh, uh, oh. a snail in my garden. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, it sounded like a siren, which made that old man go off and run into my house. Hey, now that he's gone, I can get a suitcase. <laughs> Paula went in there and Grandma was like, what the? What are you doing back here? What? Oh. The sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. <laughs> okay. Wallace, thank heavens you made it to the shelter. I'd given you up for lost. Caught in the crossfire, were you? Where's your suitcase? What's the news from above, citizen? Chaos and destruction? Ah. Uh. Pardon me, Major. About those groating bars of yours. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for emergencies, obviously. Beach stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look too. Tasty? They're full. But packed with high strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. By George, this is an emergency. Private Grubbit! I hereby issue you one protein bar. Guard it well and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. All right. Can I switch to Gromit? Gromit, old chum. Slip me that protein bar Major Crumb gave you. You'll do no such thing, Private Grummit! I gave you your protein bar for the day, Wallace. I won't have you catching another from the enlisted men. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I got some flowers. What happened to the flowers? I thought she gave me some flowers. Did she not? Oh, yeah, that's right. She gave me the seeds. Ah. Wait! What? Careful, Wallace. You are heading into hostile territory. The enemy has clearly landed and most likely set up camp in West Wallaby Street. 
Who knows what the blighters have done to our once peaceful neighborhood? If you make it back alive, you'll have to give us a full report. In the meantime, eat your protein rations. The protein will keep your strength up, especially if you're captured. Brave lad! We'll keep the home fires burning. Oh my god. So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. Huh. Let's show him the dog tags. Hold up. You see, Private Grummit, I told you he'd make it back to us alive. Our Wallace is a fighter. Bagged a few of those blighters, did you? I found some dog tags. That's not the real Grummit. I found these in the hall, Major Grummit. Dog tags? I've been recommissioned. Bound to heaven, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the trenches. You've got to get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear one of my old war stories? Might help pass the time? No. Well, I hate to... Uh... Oh, of course you would. I brought visual aids. <laughs> <coughs> what a face! That's me kitted out for heavy combat. That helmet took many a dent before the war was through. Without it, I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Never go into battle without a regulation helmet like the one in this picture. Anyway, I was peeling the <coughs> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit. Off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Dashed useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or name, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. As I say, I was marching along. Uh, um, now there's a sight. That's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that <laughs> monster. Big Betty, we called her. <laughs> Down, Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I had my dog tags, which I have, but I'd need a regulation helmet, a sturdy brass one, like I had in the war, and I'd have to find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. You need a helmet, huh? Hey, it's the wrong trousers. Or trazomatic, or whatever you call it. Okay. Could those be? Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies, always being partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Ah, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. Ah. Oh, no, ah. what you've done, you clumsy old. And <laughs> open up that window when I'm yelling at you. All right. In order to prove your insults don't get to me anymore, I can deflect them all. Is that so? <laughs> oh, my God. How did it not break? Oh my god, I love them. I'd be happy to take these flowers off your hands, Mrs. Gabberly. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want them. Much obliged. <laughs> yeah. 
Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Here. Yeah. Oh. What are you looking for exactly? What? Back again, Mr. Wallace? What? I'm flattered. Your titties caught it. Uh. You like some cheese? No? Okay. Um. You got a bug on you? Uh, I wonder, Miss Flit, if you would be so kind as to, uh, hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace? What tea bag? The one on your, um. Uh, ooh. Are you feeling quite well, Mr. Wallace? <laughs> Already had two, Mr. Wallace. I just, just can't control myself where <laughs> cheese is involved. May I? Cheese does grow on trees, you know, Wallace. The uh, more's the pity. One for the road, eh, Mr. Paneer? Must be a long road, eh, Mr. Wallace? Just one last nibble. Oh, American cheese. Heavens, how did that get in there? No, I can't take the chance. That looks like, can it really be cheese? Hey! What is it now? Your mouth! Your mouth! You mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! Oh! Eee! Ha ha! Got him that time! Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad! Can I have this? Would you mind, uh, if I, uh, that is. Could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. Miss Flit, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, Apple, you see, they're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction, Mr. Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. I got a helmet. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? Why, George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. If you know what I mean. Good heavens. I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier by thunder. Private Rollett, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Here, you pass out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! Now we got the grow team. Now to get my hands on a protein bar. Come on, Grandma. Romit. Hmm. Well, let me get yours then. Request dispensation of protein bars, uh, soldier. <gasps> oh. 
How is he doing? Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. Okay. Lovely. Something to cogitate on. <laughs> what? Time we had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Okay. It will look at you. That's more like it. Now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. <laughs> now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? No, I won't. Well, I'll be done. The prisoner has been interviewed, yes, and having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody, provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him, or it, or whatever he answers to. Oh. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Yes. I'm surprised he ain't saying nothing about that. We got everything. One unit of Energite fluid for a creamy finish. Now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. That ought to do it. You gonna mess that blender up? No, the mixomatics all mixed up. Stop! Stop! Help! Grum it! Oh, thanks, lad. Checking to see if anything's sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. Really? I don't see what you're hoping to... Whoa! Oh, I don't believe it! It works! It works! The homemade quick grow miracle muscle formula works! We're in business now! You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow. Oh. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, Lincoln, Nora! Oh, my word! I think I'm going to faint. Well? <laughs> I guess you didn't have what it takes. <laughs>